Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank everyone that has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Um, I would also like to thank everyone who has purchased a reading and everyone who has commented. Um, thank you so much. I can't possibly answer everyone, but I do read each and every comment. This is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you um, just take what does and leave the rest uh, you can go check your moon or your rising sign and um, because we read for a lot of people so it's impossible that it's going to resonate with you all the time um, so if you want something that's just for you you really need to book a private reading now, this is for the sign of Libra for the month of March going forward or from the time you view this video going out and this can go out as much as six months. Now, this is a good reading. Um, the overall energy that we have here is the Knight of Pentacles. Here you go. The Knight of Pentacles, he speaks to slow, steady progress, and he is always successful in the end. Now, underneath this card, I have a little story, and I have the card that would represent you right in the middle of these cards so we have the queen of swords here and you know uh, because it's a queen it, it doesn't matter it can be male or female now it shows that in the past you went through a challenging situation it's very possible it was a third party situation because i have a few cards that do speak to uh, uh such um a relationship and um, or this could have been going on at work whatever it was you um, you came out the victor in that but you you have lost some things in that battle with the five of swords but um, you did come out the victor and this Five of Swords speaks to a situation where there was no communication. You couldn't agree. This speaks to deception and trickery, separation, and um, you being the Queen of Swords, uh, you were ready to cut ties with these, uh, this type of relationship here or whatever was going on, whether this was at work, or whether your partner cheated, or whether you were the third person and you realized there was not going to be any commitment there for you. I also see in these cards an offer of reconciliation, but for some reason my feeling is it's not the person that you were in a third party relationship with, I think it's someone else from your past. And that could very well be a water sign or an earth sign. I don't think it's this one, though. No. I don't think it's the unhealthy attachment. I think it's somebody else. Anyway, there will be an offer coming from this person because I have this card twice, this um, Knight of Cups in your reading. This can also speak to turning a hobby into something more. And it does promise to be successful, but it will be a, a slow but steady progress for this. And I have a few cards that speak to uh, either a promotion or this could be an offer for a new job, 
um, or starting up a business and success through your own efforts I have a card of second chances here and um, a card of facing your fears with the strength here and the strength card can also represent Leo by the way so there could be a Leo person in your in your life this could be someone from your past or it could have been uh, this person now I believe that you're going to need to have faith going forward um, with regards to this reconciliation or with regards to um, a new job or a project that you're starting up because it does promise to be successful now here in the past oh I should do these first this is uh, the overall energy for the mini rider weight we have the chariot and it speaks also um, to having to make a decision the chariot is a victory it's forward movement it's taking control taking charge of your life under that I have the sneak card which speaks to deception again this goes back to this devil and I'll get to him in a minute in a minute um, cheating deception suspicion feeling robbed and leaving a situation and on that one we have the king of wands so we have a fire sign that's mentioned twice here um, so far and this has to do with a commitment and I have the five of swords on that card so um, we're speaking here of some sort of uh, relationship where there was a very it's very strongly indicated that this is a third party some type of separation and you are being divinely guided and just know that um, there is a victory coming here for you. you have two cards that speak of victory now what I want to get to is this here the devil in your past third party relationship or unhealthy it's an unhealthy attachment this person if it wasn't a third party relationship we're talking to some about somebody who is very controlling and manipulative but I believe that the universe stepped in here and um, brought about something that brought you clarity I have two ace of swords here and this speaks to me of you getting clear on this situation what was going on here and I believe that you stepped out of that relationship you left it was your choice to leave and to move towards a new opportunity one that was more solid more stable and so you left that relationship this has already happened for me in this reading the right people were there to help you if this is a project it's it's it was still in the beginning stages here um, it shows you working towards something 
that you're passionate about, something that doesn't feel like work. Perhaps for some of you it's a new job where you have to learn new skills. I have another card here that speaks to enlightenment. And we have the magician. So I feel that you are manifesting this new beginning. Um, there's something that you are wishing for. And I think, I feel that there's either a new person, a new love coming in for you, or it's someone else from your past who's coming back to offer his cup or her cup. Um, this can also indicate wanting something to happen quickly. And with this night here, know that you're going to need to have patience. Know also that whatever this wish is that you want to manifest, you, you can do it. And set aside your doubts, set aside your fears, focus, visualize, and take action on it. If this is a project you're trying to develop, don't give up. Keep going. Um... So in the past, you were able to see things for what they really were, and you made a clean break from that person. You are manifesting up a new beginning, something solid. You have a wish, and let me tell you, I have, I drew another wish card on that. So your wish is going to be granted, and I feel um, fairly quickly. If we're speaking of finances, having the wish card here is a very good omen. An unexpected event that's going to occur, that's going to propel you forward, and this is a dramatic change. Now, up here, again, we speak to a fire sign here with the Knight of Wands. Um, this can also signify a home move. If you've been wishing for that, that could be what it is. If you've been wanting to buy a new home, uh, Good news about this would be coming forward fairly quickly. The Knight of Swords. This is what you're consciously aware of. You're aware, you're aware of this change. Um, you want to charge forward. Again, this speaks to wanting to charge forward, but it's not going to go that quickly because we have this. So you're wanting, wanting something to happen really quickly, but it's not happening as quickly as you'd like. This card, for me, speaks to your impatience because I don't see... Um, any sort of bad news coming your way. I feel if you get any news, it's good news is coming in. Um, you want um, to be victorious, and you will be, from what I see in these cards. If you've applied <clears throat> for a job anywhere, or a loan, uh, applied for a mortgage, you can expect good news on that. justice. You want peace to be 
uh, restored. You want balance in your life. In the future position here, I have the five of coins. Now, this speaks to third party again, but I feel that this is you again moving away from that unhealthy attachment. I feel that you have taken the energy of this emperor here and you have taken charge uh, of your life and you are moving forward despite any challenges you know that you might face. And for me, this is also a card of relief because you have those uh, coins here lighting up this window. So there is relief coming in. Um, whether this is a personal relationship or it's somebody who is uh, who needs financial aid or who is... Um, trying to start up a project and money might be tight a bit there is some relief coming in for you um, it's possible uh, also that there may be a small uh, windfall of money for some of you um, So, you've adopted the energy of the emperor, and if you haven't, you will, in order to make these changes, to transform your life. You, I believe you're following your intuition. It's possible you may seek guidance. Um from a, a psychic, a healer, or um, a counselor, or even just a good friend. And then I have also this uh, Knight of Cups again, and this is where he appears, is in your future. And so he's in your future and he's in your overall energy. So this is energy that's coming in. So it's either someone coming from your past who wants to offer their cup to you or it's somebody new and on that I have the lovers which speaks to you having to make a head or heart decision this card speaks to commitment, um, coming together with someone or something. And I have the Eight of Cups. And this is you, your decision. I happen to have it with the Three of Swords. So this is your decision to leave. The heartache behind not to carry it with you into the future you're going to leave it behind because you realize and you know that as long as you carry that you won't get those other two cups so you need to forgive and release and that is what you are going to do so now I will pull you a angel message card So we have Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So that's a special message for someone. And we have Teresa. 
Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So, I wish you the best of luck. Um, if you'd like to book a reading with me, the dis uh, it's in the description box below <laughs> on how to do that. Um, many blessings. Bye for now.